Can't hear you, bro. Experienced streamer. I'm back. We're back. <laughs> uh, we're not back to the top of the table, though. Uh, the deadest game of football you're ever going to witness. A brilliant advertisement for the best league in the world. Yeah, good one. Um, money Mace on the score sheet, Reds. What are we saying? <laughs> He's still dead food, isn't it? Like, it doesn't really change anything. Do you know what I mean? Someone had to be the hero, and it was him, but it doesn't really change too much, I'll be honest. Minerals Mount. He landed the minerals, mate. He landed the minerals, and then you uh, conceded <laughs> literally two minutes later. Mate, that Typical. Game was we'll start with that, and then we'll come to the C one, yeah? But, um, yeah. Bro, how they didn't score until the 99th minute is beyond me. Like, they were missing chance, chance after chance. Ivan Tony was sit missing sitter after set. I was like, bro, come on, what are you doing? Whistler as well. To be fair, the only... What, what sitter did he miss? Like, he hit the inside of the post, and then he scored a goal that got called offside. Yeah, Other than he had, that, he, had, he, had he, put a few, he put one yeah. over the bar, but I wouldn't say that was a sitter. Like, I don't, I don't know. For some of his calibre, he's got to be doing better, though. Surely. He should like, have definitely no. got He should have definitely got a goal. Do you know what I'm saying? He done well for the assist as well. Mm, he's, he's, yeah, man. It's, um, <laughs> it's mad. Every time I watch Man United, you get worse. I can't lie. Yeah, like, we're all, over, all over the place. And um, it's it's funny because as soon as I see Mason Mount come on, I thought, nah, this lot are going to nick it, man. I just had this feeling that you were just going to mm. nick it. I mean, he gets when the I goal. saw nine minutes added time, I was like, yeah, we're going to win this. Like, I just had a feeling. <laughs> I just had a feeling, bro. Like, it was just one of them ones, nine minutes. I was like, yeah, we're going to nick this. And I never expected them to score after we scored. I thought it was going to be another one of them shameless games where people were coming out. Trying to rewrite history after we got battered, didn't it? Similar to loads of other games he played this season. Mm, yeah, and and yet again, um, the PRs out in in all uh, in all walks of uh, the media today about Wilcox. Oh, we've put a bid in for Wilcox. We've made an offer. He's coming to Man United. Funny how they're doing that again off of the back of another. Well, they should have had that wrapped up weeks ago, man. All right, but this is what they do. They probably have had it wrapped up. It probably is done. Yeah. But they're just drip feeding everyone. Yeah, and and just trying to finesse everyone. And this is what they do, bro. Like, your club's are one of the best at it. Every single time you have a stinky result, all of a sudden, some good news comes out of Man United. Mm. Yeah, yeah, they always have something to sprinkle on top, bro. Always. But this this is just what it is, man. Um, I've just come accustomed to what we are now. A PR? A PR club, mate. <laughs> mm. Until but the you... summer, it's more of the same shit, bro. I bet you can't wait for the season to end, can you? <laughs> oh, bro, man. I'm just wishing away the games at this point. Do you know what I mean? We can't make top four, even top five after um, that Brentford um, that Brentford result now. Um, it's just we have to look ahead. And then we go Stamford Bridge. If we oh, don't yeah. get a win at... If we Next don't get week. a win at... If we don't get a win at Stamford Bridge, that's another, another two points dropped. Do you know what I'm saying? And then if we don't beat Liverpool at... Old Trafford, that's another um, two points dropped. So we're in danger of dropping four points in the next two games. At least four points. Do you At know least, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we could lose both of them, really. It's just that Chelsea are rubbish. That's why I don't really... I don't expect us to lose to Chelsea. Do you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if we're going to beat them at the bridge. But I don't know if we're going to... Well, yeah. Yeah, I just don't know, bro. Like, every game I go into it, I don't know what to expect other than shit. That's about the yeah, only thing I can guarantee is rubbish. Gonna be, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's going to be a zero out of 10 or a one or a two out of 10. Exactly. I know it's going to bad. It's going to be bad. I just don't know how bad. Like, that's that's my life right now. Mm. The thing with Chelsea is they're a weird team as well, man. All right. How can you go to, um, like, take the lead twice against 10 men and then mm. concede? All right. After the game, Poch came out and said that, um, yeah, if we get if we get a little bit worried and we don't know what to do, we just give it to Palmer. <laughs> Yeah, but at least he's being honest, bro. Like, at least he's bro. honest, but bro. He's getting paid how much money? He's supposed to be coaching. <laughs> like, I'll be real though. Like, that's kind of that's what City have been doing with the brain for God knows how long. All right, it doesn't work. Give it to the brain to spam something in, bro. Like, come on, bro. All these coaches are doing it. At least Poch is honest about it. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. But mate, if I was a Chelsea fan here mm. and now, I'd be fuming. I'd be absolutely mm. fuming, man. And the thing is, like, a weird team, bro. Like Chelsea are a proper weird team. It's, they play mm. some really good football, yeah, and then they just don't finish their chances, or they just play absolutely stinky and nick one at the end. Mm. And you're going there, and you're, you, we know what you, we're going to get with you. 
that game, I guarantee, has more than three goals in it. Guarantee that'd be that'd be over over two goals for sure. Yeah, yeah I wouldn't be goal. surprised if it's some little two two or something. You yeah, or a three two further or something end to end. Yeah, stupid um, game. Then shit, like just mistake after mistake. And then you've got Liverpool at the weekend. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Bro, Bro that Liverpool game, we're cup. losing that. Do you know what I mean? Forget the cup game. Do you know what I'm saying? Forget the um, cup game. But, bro, we're, we're, we're losing that Liverpool game. Like, I don't... I'll be honest. Like, I'm I'm not going into that game expecting anything. Yeah, after you um after you beat them in the cup. They owe us one. Blood, and they even though we beat them as well, they were so wasteful, like. So wasteful. Mm-hmm. And now, now it really matters because yeah, they won't mistake. make the same mistake twice. No, they were too they were too nonchalant at times, man. Just trying to walk it in. Like, the amount of times they had breakaways on you, like five on three, four on two. Yeah. Right? So yeah, they, they ain't gonna do that again. He's he's gonna have them absolutely on it. Yeah. And and the thing is as well, by the time that game plays, we could be we could be above them because we play early. Yeah, we play well. Oh, we play Saturday. Man City played the early kickoff. If Man City slapped six past. Um, oh no, we both play tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow, mm. yeah, we play tomorrow as well. Yeah, by Sunday we could be above them. Yeah, because they got Sheffield United on Thursday, Liverpool. Okay, uh, so they play on Thursday and we play on Thursday. Yeah, they're going to slap Sheffield United. Mm. They'll hammer it. Yeah, we we should beat Luton. I'm pretty confident of a win there. And then Man City have got Aston Villa on on Wednesday. That's a tough game. Yeah, even though it's at home. That's still a hard game, man. Yeah, the way right. they're playing is flipping. It's a hard game. Yeah, that that's got potential banana skin on it, man. So mm. the thing is, like, I don't know, man. This this is going to just keep going and going. And and when I look at the Premier League table, bro, like, <laughs> I just look at some of these teams. Yeah, and I'm just like Tottenham. Yeah, all the gas from from that manager is still fifth. Like stinking wins here here and there as well at the moment. They're not playing very well at the minute. You got they're not, Villa. but I think they just need to keep doing what they're doing and they can just pick Villa at... Um, right at the death. Right they at the end. Villa. Okay, yeah, I think they'll pick Villa right at the end. Mm. If they win their game in hand by three goals, they go above them. So well, even the goal difference ain't looking great, but they got... They, who's their next game, Tottenham? Oh, they got West Ham tonight. Mm. Oh, oh, Antonio Daggers, we will be there, guys. That's a yeah. massive game. Hey, that's Tottenham's cup final. Yeah, that's a massive game. <laughs> that is a big game, yeah. So, yeah, we will be there for that tonight, guys. And you're what? Eight points behind fifth, flipping hell. Yeah, we're shit, bro. Eight, you know. Eleven off Villa. Bro, eight points off fifth, and we've got to play Chelsea and Liverpool our next two games, bro. It could be crazy. Yeah, West Ham could overtake you. They're only four behind. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Look at the state of that table, though, man. It's like you got you got the top three; they're gone. Yeah, and then five points further down at Villa, three points in between it with Spurs, who have game in hand, and then bro, mm. eight points down to sixth. That shows how crap you lot have been, and you shouldn't even be there. No, yeah, you should, should be about there. about tenth, eleventh, bro. Probably you should be down there with Palace. Yeah, on thirty yeah. points, you should have about six wins less. Yeah, probably the way we've played, you would, you're not you're not too wrong. Yeah, if you go through some of the games you've had this season, mate, you shouldn't have beaten Wolves. Mm-mm. Yeah, goalkeeper should have given a penalty away at the end. Yeah, I think one of the Brentford games, the other Brentford game. Yeah, Scott McTominay scored twice in stoppage mm. time. Yeah, bro, you, you could have had genuinely about 30, 35 points this season. <laughs> and we couldn't complain either when you look at the state of the um the state of the results. It's unreal. Zero goal difference after 20, 29 games. It's nasty, bro. It's nasty work. Oh, that's, that's horrific, mate. That is, mate. Do you know what? Brentford has scored more than you, and Ivan Tony's been out for eight months. Well, for you six months. Up, six season. months, yeah. Luton has scored more. Forest have only scored four less, mate. You are horrible. Your team stings. Bournemouth has scored more. Fulham has scored yeah, but, more. Yeah, but bro, that's what I'm trying to tell people about these these guys as well in attack, bro. As much as we're not building up well, yeah, these men are rubbish. Like, how we scored less than Fulham, bro. How are, you, how are you scoring less than Luton? They've just been promoted and they got some dead striker up front called Morris. <laughs> like, who's Morris, bro? Do you know what I'm saying? It's nasty, bro. It's nasty <laughs> stuff, bro. And people making excuses for this Man this my United team and this manager. You can't make excuses for them. Have you scored less than full, um, Luton, bro? And Luton are, are tipped to get relegated. It's peak. You've only scored nine more than Burnley. <laughs> 
How is anyone backing this man? Seriously, real tall, mate. How nine more than Burnley. I don't even know what what which one of our players has nine goals. You know, like that. Probably McTominay. He'd probably be the closest. That's what I'm saying. I think McTominay might be the top scorer, bro. You've scored nine more than Burnley Football Club. Does anyone even know who Burnley striker is? I have no idea. I've no that idea. Is, that is mad. I can't lie. Man said it's not all on Ten Hag. No, it's on it's on that player that you're repping in my chat, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible player. Horrible. <laughs> Like, at least he got hooked the other night. At least he got yeah. hooked. Yeah, because uh -huh. the manager's finally, like, he's running out of excuses. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, That's why he's deep. taking him off now, bro. He's been rubbish for a minute. But now, it's just becoming so painfully obvious he had to sub him off. But, bro, he's been playing rubbish like this all season. I've been telling people. You know what I mean? You got twanged by one overhead kick. Yeah, against Everton, yeah. Mm. yeah everyone got gassed. Bro, he's played what about 29 in a row? 28, 29 it's games in a row. Nasty, something nasty like that. Do you know what I'm saying? You should never, you should never, ever, ever, ever be starting that many games for Manchester United, bro, at that level. That shows you where we really are. The fact that he can be starting games for Man United shows you just how bad we are, bro. I think there's nothing shows you how bad we are like that, bro. That guy. The worst, he, he, worst player in the history of the club to get a run of games. I've never seen a player that bad get a run of games. He, he sums up um, modern football in a nutshell. Mm. Like 100%. Nothing about him making making a career out of it. Mad. And it also sums up modern football clubs. Like not just football players, but football clubs. Because bro, the level is dead. Mm. It's actually trash. I watched the championship yesterday. Bro, them games were quality. Yeah, all three of them games were just end to end, proper football, no VAR. Like mm. some sick goals, mate. The Ipswich winner was mad. What a goal! Yeah, even their first one was a screamer. To be fair, the uh, Ipswich uh, are balling out. To be fair, they they got what Kerry McKenna there, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got mm. um um some lad. What, where's he online from? It was the lad who scored the winner. Chat on me out. The lad who scored the winner. What a fucking goal that was, mate! Like unbelievable. He slipped. Yeah, guess <laughs> it was cut back to the penalty spot. Crowded box, he slipped. As he got up, it bounced off his left foot and he just whipped it, just instinctively toe-poked it. Yeah, bottom corner, mad finish, man. Yeah, Sarri Amento, yes, yeah, sick goal. Sick goal, man. And that Davis left-back scored a screamer off the other side of the bar. That was a good game. But all the games were good, man. All, bro, the championship is what the Premier League you thinks it is. Yeah, like, so what, what the Premier League the used to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like it used to be back in the day. Like, both having a go, both trying to play football. Yeah, the quality is a little bit worse at times. Yeah, but two teams actually have a, want to have a go at each other and try and yeah. score goals in that football. None of this park the bus, yeah, and you shape football, horseshoe football. Like, yeah. fuck all that. Like, two teams that actually want to have a go. He's a Brighton player, that's it. He's online from Brighton. Yeah, because them men are, especially them men that are playing for the playoffs as well. Do you know what I'm saying? They play with some real, they play with some real grit in it. Like, they're moving the ball, they're trying to win. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, bro, like watching that Arsenal Man City game. <laughs> like, bro, if I was watching, yeah, that game with somebody that I'd never watched football before and I was trying to sell them the game of football and say this is the two best teams in the country. Like, bro, like I wouldn't have a leg to stand on me. Like, that was awful. <laughs> Do you know what? If that was Stoke versus Burnley or Sheffield United versus Burnley doing that, everyone would say, how's that a Super Sunday game? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, bro. The like, worst thing about it is, yeah, brother, Arteta pulled half his team out of international duty to play like that. <sighs> but if they could have played like that, knackered, bro. They didn't run anyway. They they literally stayed in their their own half for most of the game, bro. Like you didn't need to save your legs for that performance. Mm, thanks, bro. I knew it was going to be like that. I said it. I said it's going to be some dirty, stinky game, bro. I, I was on the mm. phone to my missus for about ten minutes. I was fucked off and. Get on the phone to my bird. I was like, I, was like, I ain't watching this. It's fucking boring, man. Like, but the thing that wound me up with it, yeah, because I knew I wasn't going to miss anything. That's why I picked up the phone when she called me. I was like, lads, mm. I'll be back in a minute. And I mm. just walked out for 10 minutes. I was like, I know we weren't going to miss a goal. Yeah, you know, the first 10 minutes, they were all over us, yeah, you know, without really creating anything. Yeah, you know, they were like, it was nearly there, nearly getting in. Yeah, but Jesus, yeah. after about five minutes, 10 minutes of that game, I was like, get him off. Yeah, mm. Get him off the pitch. Why is he at left back? 
Yeah, we had him at left back and Kivio just tucked in inside. We were playing six at the back at one one point. It was Saka yeah. at right back. It was like, bro, like for me, like listen, I, I'm not happy with I'm happy, <clears throat> but I'm not happy with a draw. I wanted mm. to win and they were there for the taking. And what pissed me off with it seeing Jesus on that pitch is like if you're gonna play like that, you've got to have Martin Elliott. Yeah, because Jesus looks like he's running in treacle. Yeah, yeah Jesus ain't got the pace to get away, in it. Like Martinelli on the break is always dangerous, isn't it? I don't know why he chose Jesus. I don't know if Jesus is more defensively disciplined than Martinelli. I don't really know because I, I wouldn't necessarily say either of them are. So I don't know why he chose he chose Jesus because I swear Jesus has played less football as well this season. Yeah, yes, he, he picked him because it was Easter Sunday, bro. That's the only reason he picked him. That's the only reason he picked him because he was thinking, oh, he could get the winner. Jesus resurrected and all of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, bro, you saw the headlines, in it. But he's done it before with the kid at Brentford, bro, when we played that 16-year-old, because I've been telling a nice kick about with the boys. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? This is the sort of thing he'll do, like the psychological thing, like, yeah, go on, mm. you can, it's, it's, it's holy day, do you know what I'm saying? Like, but I'll be honest, that, that game was so shit to watch, man, honestly. Mm. But I'm happy that we didn't get spanked, first and foremost, because we've been banged every year for about the last eight. Mm. But... Bro, the amount of stinkers in that game from both teams. Yeah, De Bruyne did nothing. Yeah, Foden did nothing. Saka did nothing. Odegaard frustrated the life out of me in that game. So many times he could have put 29 clean through and he held the ball too long. Yeah, and I was just like, he's, he was making good runs off the shoulder. Well, at least the fucking ball, mate. Yeah, because he could have gone through twice in the first half and yeah. once in the second half. The um, the chance where Trossard should have just hit it across a face of goal to Martinelli running in. It's like, you don't need to take a touch. Your touch should be the cross. Yeah, and then he got it caught under his feet and just took a shit effort at goal. It was like, it's a bit frustrating because I wanted to win that. If we had won that, I think they would have been finished. No, oh, yeah, that would have that, that would have pretty much folded their season. Mm. Well, at least right. in the league anyway. And then they would have just had to focus on the Champions League, which meant maybe they would have arrested more people and dropped some more points in the league. So, I don't know, City are still in it. Yeah, they are. And they've got Palace on the weekend, Villa on Wednesday. So, um, I don't know. Like The fact that we're still above them, yeah, I'm kind of calm with that because now it's like, get them, they're out of the way now. We don't have to worry about Man City anymore, really, in terms of playing them. Yes, you've obviously got to worry about them because you can't drop points. But mm. the way we, we limited them to one shot on target, and that was off of Ake's shoulder in about the 13th minute. Bro, they, we've, they've conceded, we've conceded two shots on target against them in two games. Yeah, so I think like, I think, yeah, cool. We didn't go there to play football. We didn't go there to try and win the game either. I don't think it was. Just no, like, you didn't. If we can nick a goal, we can nick a goal, but don't lose it. Because if we had lost it, all of a sudden the PTSD could kicks back. But to in be fair, that. that's how you played last game. But you got a lucky deflection. You didn't really play too different. Like you didn't go to win the last game either. And that's that was the only at home. thing you've done that to this season. Yeah, yeah. It's like that tells us we're more focused on them. And then Liverpool, because we played football against Liverpool both games. Yeah. Yeah. Played Liverpool off the park at the Emirates. Mm. So it's like, yeah, they're the threat. Of course, they're a threat. They're the treble winners. But at the same time, it's advantage Liverpool now. And, that, and their running's a lot easier. But on the flip side of that, though, I do think all three teams are going to drop points. Yeah. I think, so I think so. Although we're playing the best football in terms of, well, apart from that game, yeah, like, but then you look at Liverpool, they're not really playing great. Yeah, but they just find a way. Like, oh, yeah. On, on another day, they could have spanked Brighton about four or five. But on another day, Brighton could have got a couple back, like two or three and done three one. Mm. I don't think Welbeck's hit a ball better in his life. That goal was sick. <laughs> hey, bro, bro, crazy, crazy strike. Like, people in the chat talking about, oh, bro, we do not want to see Arsenal Man City in the Champions League. We definitely don't. After yeah, that yeah. last game, there was nothing worse than them watching them two over two legs stink the place out again, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like this, the sport doesn't need another repeat of that last game. I'll be honest. I, I, I prefer my chances against them than Real Madrid, though. Yeah, and rightly so. You know what I mean? But no one wants to see that shit again. I'll be honest. Like that was awful. That was absolutely awful. So, yeah, it's just it's just one of them ones, bro. I think I think Real Madrid should deal with them. They should deal with them, but you just never know. Football's a strange game. Football's a very, very strange game, bro. Like, there's also a possibility that both teams could go out, bro. So, yeah, 
Bayern and Real Madrid like, semi final. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, like this. This is what I mean. Like football is strange like that, bro. Like after what I saw with um, Man City Arsenal, I saw Arsenal go there for the draw, and Man City were so scared to lose that they never fully went for it. Do you know what I'm saying? And and that's on Pep, really. Because even the, the that, changes that Pep made were, were just weird to me. None of them impacted the game at all. And apart from Grealish. Yeah, Gre Grealish won a, a few free kicks here and there, but they kept going down Doku's side. Yeah, but when Grealish got the ball, he was putting the ball in the box and Erling Haaland weren't I, getting on the end of it. Cross into the back stick, but Haaland was the one that passed it to him and was still yeah. next to him. Like, yeah, he whipped he in a nice back little left-footed floater and there was no one in there. Mm. If, if he was at the back stick, he probably would have won that and, and probably scored 1-0 Man City. But mm. yeah, it was, it was a weird, weird couple of subs or three subs from Pep because like, when I see Bernardo playing, I was like, okay, cool. And he was cooking in the first 10 minutes, man. He had, he oh, had yeah. Jesus yeah. and Kivio on skates. Yeah, but then I think as soon as he put him in the middle, like... That, that, put that, him that, in a that, pivot, bro, next to Rodri. It's like, what are you doing? You're trying to win the game. <laughs> <laughs> and you move this guy, yeah, like further back on the pitch than where he was before. Like, it didn't make no sense. That's why I don't believe he was trying to win the game, bro. Like, Pep probably just thought, you know what? I'm just going to put as many of my talented players on at the same time and just hope that something happens. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that to me, that don't make no sense, bro. Having Bernardo in a double pivot when you're trying to win a game makes zero sense to me, bro. Mm, especially when you put um, Doc, who's played most of his games on the left. Mm. And then he decided to put him on the right. Yeah, because he wanted to put on him and Grealish because he just wanted to change it because it wasn't working, in it. So you just completely changed it. Yeah, if I if I was him, I would have played. Um, I would have put Grealish from the start anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I would have. I would have had Foden in the middle. Mm. Yeah, and then you you have Bernardo on the right, and then if you want to change it up a little bit, you can bring Doku on. Mm. Right, but bro. Yeah, that game was shit. I can't lie. That was just two teams that just were worried about losing. Yeah, and I think like, both of them just thought, yeah, do you know what? If we get out of here with a draw, we're, we're both still in it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's the advantage Liverpool, but then you've got to hope that Liverpool go and drop a couple of points. Yeah, but the fact our goal difference is superior to both of them kind of gives me a bit of hope. That like, helps. We've got, we got plus 11 on Man City. Yeah, and mm -hmm. plus six, I think, on Liverpool. I think it's plus six. Uh, yeah, in nine yeah. games, obviously that can be closed, but... It's a good little cushion, bruv. With Luton coming up at the Emirates on Wednesday, mm. they've got Sheffield United on Thursday. So if we go and slap three, four, five past Luton, <laughs> all of a sudden pressure's on Liverpool then, isn't it? Mm. So, yeah, I don't know, man. It's, it's going to be interesting. But the thing is, like, they've got Europa League, though, man. Uh, that's why I think they're favourites. They've they got Europa League and they've got Atalanta at home. It's like, yeah. bro, they should be beating them comfy, real talk. And even if we beat uh, Bayern 2-0... Yeah, we still got to put a proper team out against them in the second leg. They could go and rest a load if they beat beat um, Atalanta two or three nil. Mm. Like Real Madrid, if you can't rest any players against Real Madrid, you got to put your best team out. True, very so, very true. Yeah, even if you win, even if they beat them in the first first leg, yeah, and then take them back to the Etihad, still got to put your best team out. All right, so yeah, we're we're both. I don't know. I wouldn't say we're both out of it because we're not points points wise. We're there, but. When I look at the fixtures, I just think, like, where are Liverpool going to drop points? Yeah, they've got Tottenham. But I don't know, man. I don't know. They've got you at the weekend. I'm kind of hoping you can do something. <laughs> yeah, bro, crack. listen, everyone's hoping. Everyone's looking at that fixture. City are probably looking at it thinking, hopefully United can do us a favour. But, bro, don't hold your breath. Mm, I don't you know. Don't hold your breath. Know, shit. Got an actual masterclass. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, wound, it wound me up though man because it was like I'm sitting there and I'm thinking like this lot are there for the taking like mm. just have a go just have a go at them man uh, and we didn't we didn't bother but at the same time like the, the amount of people I've seen like hyping it up saying oh it was it was a uh, disgrace from Arteta it's that I don't think it was a disgrace from Arteta if you play football against City you're getting banged doesn't matter yeah, who you brother, it, I don't think it was a disgrace. Yeah, you know I mean, that's harsh, isn't it? I don't think it was a disgrace. I just think it was horrible. It was horrible. That's all it was, like, from a neutral point of view. But I can't say it was a disgrace, bro. At the end of the day, he needed to not lose that game, and that's what he did. Facts. That's what he did, innit? It's not a disgrace. My thing is, the way people talk about it, yeah, 
like it was a masterclass, bro. You seen Jose do that, bro, and he gets absolute hammered for it, bro. Like what Arteta did here yeah, was the same. Yeah, it was exactly the same. Simeone gets cuffed every week. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Defensive negative football. Mm. Like, no, but you have to do that against Man City. It's the only way you're going to beat them. Yeah, like, listen, the only team that really has a go at them is Liverpool or Real Madrid. Mm. Yeah, and both of them have done that. And let's, let's be real with it. Most times when Liverpool have had a go at them, yeah, it's ended up with Man City winning the league. So, True. you know, sometimes you have got a you have got a park the bus against this team. Yeah, but then I... Like, the the absolute like opposite side of that is the amount of people that are gassing up a draw is crazy. It's like, oh, it was a great performance. It was, you know, what this exactly, yeah, we had to go there and do that, but mm -hmm. could have gone forward a bit more. Two shots on target. I don't even remember the first one. You know, I remember the Trossard one. I don't remember the other shot on target. Yeah, I don't. I have no idea. And the thing, the thing is, uh, before the game, everyone was sticking about eight players in a combined 11. Everyone's saying, we're going to go there and we're going to win 3-1, 4-1, 2-1, two, two, whatever. And you just then gave them the game. Yeah, and then afterwards, it was, oh, what a great oh, what a great performance. You know, you know the mentality's changed and all that. Yeah, maybe the mentality has changed. But I don't know, man. Like, I think I think they just both thought, yeah, fuck this. It, it's worst ways, we're going to be three points behind. Yeah, best ways, we're, we're top. Yeah, mm. but worst place we're three behind. Instead, we're two behind. Nine games to go. There's, there's plenty of points to play for. So I don't know, man. There's still going to be twists and turns. But I was just like thinking in two games from now, yeah, we could be top again. Because if you yeah. get sacked against them, yeah, they're going to beat Sheffield United. Let's just put that as three points. We'll beat Luton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we've got Brighton away on Saturday, which is not an easy game. It's not, bro. They, they played they're, well against they're... Liverpool on the weekend as well. Obviously, it was at Liverpool, but Brighton away is not an easy game, but it's a game that, with the way Brighton play, you would expect Brighton, um, Arsenal to exploit um, the spaces. Mm. Yeah, that's a good comment as well. It was on Man City to win the game. It was. <laughs> it was them. They're the home team. They're the champions, and they're behind. So and, they didn't, and they didn't really... I wouldn't really say that they they went for it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like they 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 were playing super cautious. The thing is with Man City, yeah, and and Pep's teams, they give you the impression, yeah, that they're going for it, but they're not really going for it. Do you know what I mean? He puts on all these players, but really, they, there's no there's no urgency with the way that they move the ball, bro. They're they're looking for the perfect pass all the time, the perfect situation, or to get the ball out wide. And and that's just what it is, man. Like they didn't really take the handbrake off, man. Man City looked like they had half an eye on not conceding, even when they were trying to go for the goal. Like it was it was half hearted, man. Yeah, I watched the um <clears throat> the first uh, first part of that um Netflix documentary. Have you watched it? Uh, it dropped, dropped last night or this morning or whatever. I yeah, I didn't even part. know. Yeah, six part series of um their treble season. Okay. And it's like, it the app? so it's on Netflix. Is it like the all or nothing thing? Yeah, very yeah, it's exactly the same as an all or nothing, but it's just on Netflix. Oh. But um, but mate, just like listening to some of the stuff he says, like I think they won a game, I can't I think it was Dortmund. Yeah, and he fucking ripped him, bruv. Like, absolutely ripped him. Right. And when you when you listen to what he's saying in the dressing room in that, yeah, I can see why Arsenal cancelled Man City out and vice versa the other night. Because like he is literally doing what Pep's doing. Like the, the the whole thing, like the aura around him and the way he acts in the dressing room and this and that, they're both very similar. Yeah, like, and you can tell that the players just buy into it and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Because like, when when we're playing this um, Sunday, you could just tell all of them players had brought into the fact that we weren't crossing the halfway line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Every they, single they, one, not one of them moved running. out of position, bro. No. Soon, soon as they got the ball back, Oligard just dropped straight back in. Yeah, and then he, and then when there was an opportunity as we were coming out and pushing them back, then he'd go and press. Yeah, but if he couldn't get the press real quick, if he couldn't, if we couldn't force him a turnover, straight back in. Yeah. And it's like I do for listen. If I if I was a betting man, I'm still putting my money on City. Yeah, they've been there, done it. Yeah, and they got the best manager. Yeah, but I think we're out of the three. We're the third favourites. If we do it, bro, I am going to be fucking gassed if we win this league. I'm going to be unbearable. <laughs> literally unbearable yeah. yeah I'm not trying to see that I'll be honest bro like 
Are you trying to see any of us win it? <laughs> after you two's game, after you two's game, bruv, I swear down. As much it, it would hurt me, yeah. It would absolutely hurt me to see Liverpool win it, yeah. But fam, I just I just don't know, in it. I just don't know anymore. I just do not know anymore, bro. Like which one which one's the lesser of the three evils, bro? <laughs> Because Arsenal fans are the mouthiest online anyway. Yeah, bro, I can't, I can't have, I can't have Arsenal winning it for sure. But then Liverpool you know equals the record. Exactly, but a four P. But that's what I'm saying. Like it's not. And your Arsenal. fans are still gassed at ten hog, bruv. Like, yeah, cool. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, bro. I, I'll be honest, bro. Arsenal can't win it. Arsenal can't win it. It's the Arsenal is the worst case scenario out of all of them because I will hear the end. I will not hear the end of this bullshit. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's one of them ones where I've seen Man City and Liverpool win the title in the last five years. So I've seen it once. I know how I feel. I know how I felt at the time. So I won't feel any worse this time. The Arsenal one will be worse than any of any of these things. Mm. It'll be worse than that. That's mad. That's mad. Breaking news. Brighton officially announced profit of 122.8 million after sacks. I'm not surprised, mate. They didn't spend any of the fucking money with the players they sold. Yeah, they're a joke. And then they get praised to the to the high heavens. Oh, what a well-run club. Yeah, good one, mate. Go and win something. Invest a bit yeah. more money and they might have been in the top four this season. Uh, who knows, man? But yeah, it's crazy. Well, um, I wonder That's why Deserby about... will leave. Mate, he's linked with uh, Bayern today. He's linked with Bayern. He's been linked with Barca. He's been linked with us. And to be honest, yeah, he came out before the game or something and they asked him about his future. And he said, yo, I need to speak to the owner. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said, "I need to speak to the owner and find out what, like, what the what the plans are for the future." That's what he said. Wow, mad. Yeah, that's mad. Um, apparently, he's got a buyout clause of thirteen mil. Okay, but I didn't know that. To get him out of his contract. Yeah, Fabrizio Romano posted it out the other day. Oh, decent. Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. Thirteen mil. No, I think I think he's going to end up at Bayern. I can't. I, I, called, I, I can't see him. I can't see him at Bayern Munich. I, I, I can see him more at Barca than Bayern. Like Bayern, Bayern don't like that. They don't like that kind of football, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, they, they don't like that kind of football. Better than Tuchel, cool though. Uh, it is, but <laughs> bro, like, don't be surprised if you see Hansi Flick go back there. Do you know what I mean? And you see Nagelsmann linked again, like, like yeah. with Graham Matt. So, bro, who knows, innit? But Bayern are desperate. Bayern also need to sort out their contract situations with the players that are there, and they also need to recruit well as well. Mm, yeah, Bayern, Bayern have got a big problem this summer. They need a new mm. manager. They need about six new players. Mm. And, and or um, strap up their other players that are coming to the end. Like, either get rid of them like, and get a bit of cash in now or, or strap them up to a new deal because half of their squad's out of contract next season. Mm. And like important players as well. It's not even like they're crap players. It's the decent ones that are out of contract. So, yeah, they're in a bit of, bit of bother, man. Uh, big up to uh, Sanji as well. Can Madrid beat City as you watch them both? Madrid have beat City this year, I think. I mm. do think they'll beat them. Yeah, like, mate. I hope from, so. Did you see Rodrigo's goals at the weekend? Yeah. Oof. Baller, that's what I mean. And no one's giving him his praise, bro. He just keeps going under the radar. He's an absolute baller. Mm. Yeah, the first goal was mad. Just oh, It was time. after like three minutes or something, you just slapped it. <laughs> Nasty, nasty. Even the second one, like the way he was in the box, he just done the keeper with the eyes and just slotted it in the bottom corner. Man, sick goal, absolutely Proper. quality. And no, no Vinny at the weekend. He was suspended, but they they don't have a game this week. Yeah, so their their next game is the Champions League next week. Mm. Yeah, so they, they've got a whole nine ten days off until they play their next game. Whereas Man City have got two games in between. So yeah, I think I think they'll do. I think they'll do uh, Man City first games at the Bernabeu as well. Mm. So Man City have got to play two games and then fly out to Madrid. Okay. You know, I think, yeah, I think they're going to do them, man. Over the two legs, I think they'll do them this year. M Madrid have got better and they've got worse. A big up to Southport as well. Christian Field as Luton's manager, do better at a big club. Is starting to play. It's been tough for the big clubs. Bro, I don't know, man. And the thing is, I don't want to gas up these managers that have just got into the league because we've seen with Chris Wilder, he got seventh with Sheffield United. And now look at him. True. Yeah, and there's a lot of managers that come in, do well for a season, and then flop. So, got to see how he does next year. Yeah, because this year, they've been like the surprise package, didn't they? 
like yeah. taking games to big teams and having a go at them. Yeah, next year they'll get sussed out. So it's how he how he goes from there, isn't it? Facts. But, I don't know, man. Yeah, they're, again, they're, them at the weekend, man. Fucking Tottenham are so lucky, man. I swear, I swear to God, man, they are so lucky, bro. Yeah, I'm sitting there going, right, come on, Luton, get another one, get another one, bro. Piss take, absolute piss take, man. But you just knew it was coming, innit? A fucking, bro, I want us to win something, yeah, and I'd love for us to do it at, at their ground, win the league at their ground. <laughs> yeah, because I, bro, it could happen. It could happen. Oh, it can, of course. And especially after Levy came out and said, we've got our Tottenham back this season. Yeah, just, uh, that would be poetic, mate, if we went there and won the fucking title on the ground. Yeah, no, that'd be nasty. That'd be nasty for them. Yeah. Yeah, we've got our Tottenham happens. back. Yeah, watching Arsenal dunk on our ground and pick up a title <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's crazy, man. Like, big up to everyone locked in, man. Uh, we're going to wrap this up, though. I'm starving. Um, what you got coming up, man? Um, Red Talk at half six with Flawless. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we got a busy day today. Red Talk with Flawless. We got um, a Rants Reacts for my brother's grilling. That's already scheduled. And then I got a... Um, should have a Red Talk with Adam as well. Um, later on. A late one for you lot, because he's in Canada. So, um, yeah, we still got loads going on in the channel today. Yeah, likewise, man. Make sure you sub uh, to Rants. It's in the title, guys. But get his likes up as well. There's nearly 1,400 in here. We ain't even got 350 likes. You're not taking the piss. Um, I'm back again in about an hour um, with Kenny and Jez on here for the podcast. And then <clears throat> straight after that, I'm doing West Ham Tottenham. So, yeah, two more streams to go. Um, bang the likes up, people. Big up to everyone who's dropped comments and super chats in. And, um, yeah, man, listen, nine more cup finals to go, guys. Nine more to go. This time next week, I'm telling you, man, this time next week, we could have one foot in the, in the Champions League semi and be top. Sure. You know, like, or we could be yeah, um, fucked in the Champions League. Yeah, that fun. as well. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how it is, man. But listen, big up to everyone locked in. We're out of you guys. Laters.